Mm. That's good. That's very good meat. There are a lot of ways to cook a steak, and today we're gonna to talk about one way. To us, it's the best way. What does that mean? To us, the best way has to meet a few different criteria. The first being it's gotta be packed full of flavor. The second, the steak's gotta be cooked to perfection. And the third is I don't wanna to have to babysit it. I'm not interested in techniques that I have to hover over it and watch it like a hawk all night. So for us, sous vide ticks all those boxes with the added benefit of once you get it cooking, it's just there, ready, and waiting for you, not the other way around. Okay, enough yapping. Let me show you exactly how to cook this steak sous vide. The first part of our criteria is flavor. What we're gonna do is hit this steak, lots of salt and pepper. I'm gonna hit both sides. Pepper, 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 pepper. Love lots of pepper. Love when it gets nice and toasty when we sear it later. Make sure this side's got salt. And then we're gonna pop them in the bag. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of olive oil. This is just for flavor, really. And fresh bay leaf. I don't use dried ones. Dried ones are kind of crap. If you don't have a fresh bay leaf, use some other fresh herb. And that's it. The second item on our list of criteria is perfect doneness. And when you're cooking a steak with traditional methods, there's a lot of ways to get great flavor, but you have little or no control over the outcome of doneness. And with sous vide, you have total control of it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So with sous vide, I select my temperature. I don't have to think about it anymore. I know it'll be cooked to perfection, edge to edge. And I just sear it on the outside for flavor until it looks delicious, and that's it. So it's really helpful separating those two steps, the cooking and the searing. And with traditional methods, you kind of mix them, they're all happening at the same time. So you have less control. We're ready to pop this guy into our pot of water and walk away. So today we're cooking with Jewel. It's Chef Seth's brand new sous vide tool. Um, I'm gonna select my doneness with a really amazing feature that we have. We're calling it visual doneness. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up the steak guide, use the visual doneness feature, look at the doneness I want based on these awesome videos. Go with that one, 129 Fahrenheit. It's basically rare. Pick my thickness, hit go, and we're ready to roll. So, in goes the steak and I can walk away. All right, the steak is ready. It's not that it's finished and it's not that it's done just now, it's that it's ready. It was actually done a while ago and it's been ready the whole time. I'm gonna take it out. I know it's cooked to perfection on the inside. We'll confirm in a little bit. From here, you wanna finish it. So we've got a little bit of flavor from the first step. We've got perfect doneness, which was our second criteria. And obviously our third criteria was didn't have to babysit it. So I just went and did some other stuff. But I'm back now, I'm ready to eat, so I'm gonna finish it. You can broil it, you can grill it, you can smoke it, you can deep fry it. I'm going to sear it, nice and straightforward. I'll show you how I do it. All right, so we're gonna sear it. So I'm adding a little bit of butter. Cook it all the way down until you don't have any more moisture in it. So this is the most straightforward way to finish your steak at home, I'd say. It can be a little bit smoky sometimes, a little bit greasy, a little messy, but it's worth the flavor. So to keep some of the splattering down and to help it sear evenly, I'm just gonna give it a little rotate here. Stir it around, that keeps the bottom, getting nice fresh oil. I don't really wanna overcook it. We're just searing it, just for flavor. All right, I'm gonna give it a flip, take my bay leaf, Flip that guy over. The deeper the crust, the deeper the uh, complexity of that flavor, the more beefy the flavor is gonna be. I'm gonna call it good. I'm gonna say we're done. Just a little bit of that good stuff. All right, our steak is finished. Let's slice it open and see if it's cooked to perfection on the inside. Ta -da 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 -da. I'll just take one slice there. Seriously, supple. Mmm. Woo! I'm gonna try a bite real quick. So sad that you can't taste this. Let's check it next to our uh, visual doneness. Dun 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 dun! Love it. Best way to cook steak. You just gotta take my word for it. Pack full of flavor. I think you can see that it's cooked to perfection. And I'm not kidding about the it's gonna be waiting for you thing. 
Seriously. I love cooking steaks this way. I'm gonna have another bite. Man, that's good.